What's up guys, gonna do an um, um, unboxing for you. First, I'm gonna unbox this. This is from Endeavor Stitch Works. Uh, some of you guys know him as Carrie Welch on uh, Facebook. So it's kind of gonna be kind of the comparison item for the other package that I have. So, open this up. It's just a uh, element M600C uh, Scout Light. Got to take some alcohol to the trademark so they show up better. But you guys have seen this before. I had one on my Mark 18 before, so I bought another one to kind of do a comparison video with what I'm about to unbox. So there's that. Nothing really special there. Moving to this, this is from JK Army. It's a new item that came out that I've kind of been waiting for a replica of. So go ahead and see what's in here. This is the Beta Project MX200. This is uh, the replica of the Insight uh, or L3 Technologies, I believe, M or WMX200. It's kind of the new light used by a uh, current Special Forces unit. Pretty much a common light used now that it's issued. So there's that. Got this in the Dark Earth, I believe, and with the markings that should have the Insight trademarks. So let's see if we can open this. Maybe. All right. So here it is. Doesn't look to be anything uh, anything else included. Uh, kind of sad that it doesn't have a pressure switch, so there's no remote switch. But uh, it does look pretty nice in the dark earth color. It's a pretty hefty light, uh, feels good. It's a aluminum construction, I believe. Has a push button tail cap and uh, the standard thumb screw, which I believe hinges. Yeah, it hinges out like that. Um, I believe it takes two CR123A batteries, which I didn't bring out here with me. But uh, later tonight, I will do a comparison test with the Element M600C. Kind of show you guys how bright it is in comparison. Um, I do hope they actually make another tail cap. Is what I'm hoping they they will do, so that you can run a pressure switch. As a having a light without a pressure switch is kind of kind of weird to do uh, by today's standards, anyways. And I don't think this twists on the real one. I think you twist it and it goes into IR mode, but on this one it doesn't. But it does have the Insight trademarks there, kind of the QR code or uh, whatever, call that image there. So let's get this mounted to my Mark 18. Alright, there it is on the Mark 18. Kind of a cool looking light. Definitely goes with the uh, flat dark earth stuff I got going on here. Uh, hinge mount up. It's kind of neat, but kind of defeats the purpose of having it on this side if it doesn't have a pressure switch. But there it is. It looks neat. I like it. Uh, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.